Hey guys, come check it out. Granny is back. Oh God, not again. I really don't want to have to sit through another 15 minutes of watching Joe play like an idiot. Yeah, Donald. There might even be another obvious hole in the ground. That would really suck for you now, wouldn't it? Hey, come on, guys. Let's just give it a chance, okay? Okay, fine, Joe. But you had better not play like you lost all of your limbs and eyes this time around. If I see you getting caught every five seconds, then I am actually going to lose it on you. Shut up, Donald. There's a cutscene. Where are we? Are we back in the same house? I think so, Joe. I thought we escaped that place. Oh, crap, <laughs> guys, it's Granny. Oh, no, please don't hurt us. Ow! Are we already dead? I bet you that this is all Joe's fault somehow. Oh, shut up, Donald. It is not my fault. We are still in the damn cutscene. Donald is really going for a world record in the blaming Joe for dying any percent category. When is the summoning salts music going to kick in? Wait, where is Granny taking us? Guys, I think we might be about to get buried alive. Oh, God, no. Uh, Barack, please tell me that they are not going to bury us alive. I think that might just be my biggest fear. Well, you had better get ready to face it, Joe, because we are definitely going to get buried alive right here. Wait, why are we at a front door? Are we back at the same house? No, Joe, this is probably a different house. There is no porch on this one. Are you sure, Barack? Maybe she just took us out to bury us but couldn't go through with it because she secretly loves us. And now we're back at the house where she's going to make us a batch of cookies and milk. Joe, you are delusional. If you go asking Granny for some cookies and milk, then I am going to lose it. Look, we still only have five days. How is there anything else that could mean other than that she is going to absolutely dunk on us at the end? Whoa, guys, look. We are waking up. What is this place? Is this the same house? Obviously not, Joe. Granny must have taken us somewhere new. Now we have to figure out how the hell we are going to get out of here. Ooh, look, there's an upstairs. I bet you that this is going to be easy for us. We have already beat Granny once, guys. We can do it again, easy peasy. If you can avoid dying in just about the dumbest way possible, then I can agree, Joe. Granny stands absolutely no chance as long as you are kept in check. I see you. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Did anyone else just hear some weird demon-sounding guy just talk? Yeah, Barack, I heard it. I have no idea who it was, but we need to get the hell out of here. Oh, crap, it's Granny. Guys, we need to go back. We cannot get too close to her. Ah! Uh, oh, my fucking God, what the fuck is that? Ah! Uh, what is that thing? Are we dead? Yes, Joe, we are fucking dead. All because your dumb ass didn't want to get anywhere close to Granny. I thought that I had told you not to die like an idiot this time. Oh, shut up, Donald. You would not have been able to do any better. I so would have, Joe. In fact, if it was me, then I bet you I would have had both Granny and whoever that guy was running away in fear because of how cool and awesome I am. Who even is that other bozo anyway? I think he is called Grandpa. Kind of crazy that murderers who look like they were made in a four-year-old's pottery class can still manage to get more bitches than you, Donald. Ah! Oh my god, guys, he's right there. Quickly, we need to run away. I'm running, Joe, I'm running. Can you just shut up and stop distracting me? Last time you spent the entire round shouting at me, we ended up losing. Just shut up and let me focus, and we will win this easy peasy. Okay, fine, Donald. I hope you know, though, that if you lose this, then you are never going to be able to live down the fact that you had lost all on your own. That is fine, Joe. If I lose this, then you can hold it to my face for all eternity. That is easy, though, because I will never lose. It will not count if you distract me, though. If I need to focus and you are talking whatsoever, then it will not count. This is so nerve-wracking. Grandpa's right there. Oh, yeah? Well, watch this game remove, Joe. Oh, wow! Grandpa has no idea. What the hell? You see, Joe, this is why I'm going to win us this game. There is no one as skilled at me at video games, and there will never ever be one that matches my raw talent. As long as there are not any holes in the ground, that is. Oh, shut up, Barack. Well, we know now that we need to escape on a speedboat. How the hell are we going to turn it on, though? If we already have the key, then we probably only need the gas. There has to be a gas canister somewhere around here. Oh, my God, she's right there. Donald, please do not die now. We are already halfway there. And are we living on a prayer, Joe? What on earth are you talking about, Barack? How the hell can you live on a prayer? That is not a physical thing that you can stand on. Oh my God, Joe, there is no way that you can seriously be that stupid. Do you seriously not know the song? What song, Donald? How could a song make it possible to live on a prayer? I think it was after his time, Donald. Either that or he has forgotten it already. Speaking of forgetting, Guys, I almost forgot to mention, we are just about to hit 100,000 subscribers. 
make sure to hit that subscribe button right now if you want to help us get over the last hurdle to this milestone. Oh man, are we really about to reach 100K? Oh boy, it would be so cool to have a whole 100,000 subscribers. If we hit it, then I am going to have Granny make an extra cookie for every single one of you who are subscribed. Joe, that is not an incentive. Those cookies will probably end up with drugs or razor blades inside of them if we let Granny make them. If you tell them that, then they will not want to subscribe. Oh, you are right, Barack. Uh, if you guys subscribe, then I will make a cookie myself for each and every one of you. That is not much better, Joe. I doubt anyone is going to want a cookie that was made by you. Nuh-uh, Donald. Just you watch. We are going to get to 100K today. And when we do it, we'll show you that everyone wants one of my cookies. Joe, you are the king of making literally everything that you say sound creepy. Whatever, guys. Check this out. Gasoline is in hand, and we have already won this game. It is honestly just too easy when I get my hands on the wheel. Poor Granny and Grandpa never even stood a chance. You know what? I have got to give it to you, Donald, for all that I make fun of you for it. This was an extremely fast win. You can say that again, Barack. These old farts didn't stand a chance the second that they ran into the big D Trump. Wait, where is the key? I could have sworn that it was right here. Donald, are you fucking serious? Here I was finally throwing you a bone, and now you've lost the damn key. You had better find that key soon, or I am taking back everything that I just said. Oh, calm down already, Barack. Try not to get your panties in a cross too badly. I'm going to find us the key, and then I am going to get us out of here. And when I do, you guys are going to be begging me to take the lead whenever we play any games after this because of how easily I beat it. We will see about that, Donald. For now, how about you just focus on finding the damn key? That is what I'm already doing, Joe. Stop interrupting me. If you keep distracting me, then we might not end up winning, even though we have all of my amazing gaming skill. You mean the kind of gaming skill that makes you get your keys lost? Oh, screw you, Joe. If you really think that you guys can do a better job, then fine. You two can try to win without my help. Okay, fine, Donald. Just you watch. I am going to win even faster than you ever could have. That is literally not possible, Joe. It is going to be really fun to watch when you end up losing, though. I am going to absolutely love it. Donald, you cannot bullshit me. You are just handing over control because you don't want to get roasted for losing after talking so much shit. That is so not true, Barack. Stop spreading all of that fake news. I could win this game blindfolded if I really wanted to. Whatever. I am fine with taking the lead because this means that I can win and then Donald does not get to claim that I am trash anymore. Maybe he might even let me stop being the resource bitch. That is literally never going to happen, Joe. You are the resource bitch until the end of time. There is nothing that you can do to change that fact. Yeah, Joe. I got to agree with Donald here. If you are not the resource bitch, then it is going to be me, and there is no chance that I'm going to be mining Donald's cobblestone. Is this really Granny Chapter 2, guys? This looks like a ripoff from the last one we played. It looks cheaper and low budget. What are the devs up to right now? Would you stop complaining and just play the game already? This is clearly the next chapter of Granny. You speak as if you can make a game better than this. Yeah, don't test me, Barack. I bet I could top this game off with just the tip of my IT skills. I would make a granny game worth 10 out of one star in reviews. Stop spouting nonsense. We all know you can't do any of that show off. This game would look a thousand much better than the pixelated game you would make. Oh, shut up, Sleepy Joe. I bet you are just mad because this game is just like you. Old and ugly. No wonder I didn't like this game when we started playing. What the hell? Who the hell pressed that? Shit. Now granny's gonna come down. Hurry up and hide. Let's wait till the coast is clear. Shit, shit, she is so near. We gotta be careful or we will lose our progress once again. This is so creepy. Shit, shit. Seems like granddad is also upstairs. What the hell do we do now? Hurry up and hide. No one told me he was already up there. I forgot about granddad's existence in this game. This is gonna be harder than the last one. Yeah, because we are dealing with two of them. How about I just contact my CIA agents and have them bust down this door and help us escape? If only it was that easy. This is so stressful. If we don't check our corners, we would end up getting caught like always. Let's go out and check if they're gone already. They might have went somewhere else. Let's find a chance to find what we need. Holy shit. Nope, no, no, hell no. Hurry up and go back to our hiding spot. She was definitely waiting for us to come up. Can we just stay under this bed forever? They won't find us, I promise. We would be in a huge disadvantage if we did that. 
Who knows how long you would live after we died, you old immortal fossil? Ha ha! Good one! Besides that, I also want to beat Granny's ass for capturing us in here with his husband, Grandpa. I hope we can find a gun or something that will help us. Oh yeah, we just need to find a crossbow and a tranquilizer dart, and we would be set for life. I can't wait to find one. Wait, are we really doing this? Shit, fine, just be careful. Am I going crazy or did the music just got louder? I can't take this, I want to go home. What are you on right now? How will you go home if you're already at home, dumbass? How about you use that teleprompter you have and help us beat this game? Shut up, wait, where do we use this wire cutter? Oops, the painting fell. Oh wait, the fuse box is in here, how lucky. Shit, I bet they both heard that painting fell. <laughs> Let's just stay in this vent until we know they are not there already. Who knows where they are right now? Wait, I have a plan to lure them into another place. Check this out. Now they are gonna come here and when they do, we run out this vent and go somewhere else. Hell no, that is way too risky. The distance you lured them into is way too short. And Grandpa might be waiting outside this door. Can we just stay here? I hate to break it to you, but we gotta go sleepy, Joe. We need to explore this house to get what we need and escape. Be careful of Grandpa. Hey, do we really need to Barack? Of course, now go, 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 get out of here. She might be on our tail. Check every corners. Shit, shit, I really hate doing this. If I die and become a ghost, I will surely haunt your goddamn asses. I am blaming you eternally, just so you know. No one asked for your opinion, Sleepy Joe. Just shut up already before I make you my bait to Grandpa and Grandma over there. Where are we going now, Barack? Why don't you try asking me Donald? Why does it always have to be Barack? Let's go back downstairs and hide. That's the safest place I know. You are just saying that because you are scared. Think about it objectively, dumbass. Why don't we try going down their basement? God damn it, why do I always have to listen to you guys? This is scaring me, just hide already. They even left us a bear trap over here. Are they hiding something down here? Joe, step on this shit. Ah, why the heck did you make me step on that bear trap, Donald? Just you wait till I send a grizzly bear to haul up your ass when we finish this game. Just you go ahead and try. Let's see if you manage to survive when I put bear traps all over your bedroom when you wake the fuck up. Be quiet, you two. They might have heard us. We are playing Granny Chapter 2 to beat it. Not to commit crimes because of playing it. It is because Sleepy Joe started all of this. Shut up, we both know it was you. Wait, I think I heard Grandpa speak. They might be on the bear trap we stepped on. Let's never get out of here, guys. What the hell is up with you and being under the bed? Does the president sleep under his ugly and old ass bed every night? Does Jill not let you sleep on yours? So sad. Oh, shut the hell up already. The only person sleeping under the bed would be you when I smack you with those bear traps we always find, shithead. Shh, I heard something. Ah, shit, shit, shit. This is why I tell you never to play this games again. Hell no, watch out for traps. Hurry the hell up and hide. Holy shit. I'm about to juke Granny so hard she'll break her knees trying to catch me. Just you guys watch me. Ah! Holy shit. I think I just shat my pants. I thought you could juke them, Donald. Why did you run into one instead? Shit, shit. Hurry up and hide, goddammit. That scared me too. I literally forgot about Grandpa being in the game since we don't see him often. Donald, be careful where you go. They still might be chasing us. Shut up, Barack. I think I almost peed myself. That scared the living shit out of me. But don't worry, Donald the Juker is here to save the day. Just leave it to me. I wonder whose bedroom is this? And what the hell is this torn picture? Who the heck puts it down in their bed? Shit, shit, here we go again. Granny is on our goddamn ass. Go, go, hurry the fuck up and hide from her. Please don't let me get caught. Shit, crap, but don't worry because my juking ability is godly. I won't let them catch us because I am the greatest person alive. Damn, I thought we were goners then. Grandpa almost cut off our path of escaping. Good job in juking them, Donald. That scared the living soul out of me. Come on, guys, let's just stay here. Let's just stop playing already. This got me stressing the freak out. Shit, how the hell did he see us? Does he have god eyes or something? They can't crawl in here, right? Shit, just hurry up and get out. I don't want to stay in here to find the freak out. This is too much. Where do we go now? As long as I am here, then you have nothing to be afraid of. Donald the Juker will save the day once again. Hurry up and get us somewhere safe. Oh shit, why do I always run into them when I'm trying to get us to safety? We have no time. Let's just hide here. Shit, shit, shit. Why did you have to go ahead and bring us here? One small peek and they will come rushing in on us. You better have made the right decision, Donald. Just be quiet. When have I made a wrong decision? Never in my life have I made a decision that I am not proud of. So does that mean you meant to run against me during the presidential election so you would lose against me purposely? Was that a decision you wanted to make? 
Oh shit, let Sleepy Joe cook. He got you there, Donald. You can't deny that. Haha. -ha. That shit was hotter than fire. Uh, um, uh, I couldn't hear what you were saying, Sleepy Joe. My internet slowed down when you talked to me. Is that another way of saying that you cannot do anything against what Sleepy Joe just said to you and you admit you lost? What? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's just try and use this wrench we found and unhook this right down here. I think Donald is too emotionally damaged that his ego won't let him hear any roast we might end up saying against him. He can only hear it when we talk about the game. Huh? What did I say again? What are you talking about, Barack? Are we about to win Granny Chapter 2? Just when you almost had Donald on the palm of your hand, you start having dementia. Ha ha! Not my problem. You should drink your medication, Sleepy Joe. What medication? Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, hell no. No way am I playing with you, Grandma. Screw you and Grandpa. Come on now, Sleepy Joe. Don't be such a coward. It's just a game. Go ahead and play with them. If it's just a game, then why don't you go ahead and play with them instead? If I did, then it wouldn't be even a challenge. I would win in less than milliseconds of starting the game. How is that even possible? Stop showing off. Just shut up, both of you. Why don't you just shove an ice cream in both of your mouths? Oh yeah, speaking of ice cream, I gotta get my daily doses. Goodbye, guys. Not this again. Let's end this for now. Goodbye, bud. Goodbye, Barack. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will nuke you.